First it was the man in the window. Then it was the lady with the dumpy. Now it's the midnight maid night. I have no idea what this is about, but we're about to figure it out right now. Guess cool that you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up! Cause here we go! Okay, but really, it makes sense. First you replace a single plank on the ship, then another. And you keep going until everything has been replaced, and nothing from the original ship is left. Then you ask, is it still the same ship? And if not, when did it stop being the ship of the Thesis? I said that wrong, didn't I? I bet you all a million bucks that when they zoomed out to see who she was talking to, THIS WAS THE LAST PERSON ON OUR MINDS! <laughs> like the queen and with your big ass <laughs> <laughs> i did not expect her to be talking to this big ant is that even an ant i think that's a lobster that's somebody that's somebody's mom wouldn't it be easier to just build a new ship instead of going through all that ruth that's not the point it's a thought experiment well, if you ask me, Theseus needs to quit thinking so much and go stop his ship from being dismantled. Maybe that's the point of all this. Don't get distracted by silly little details when someone's out to get you. I don't. I think we're getting off track here. Oh, hold on, my phone's going off. Shoot, what's wrong? Our two o'clock just canceled on us. Uh-oh, why is that? I'll read her message for you. Okay, so, gotta cancel the appointment. Owner found out and isn't happy. Says she'd rather clean the place herself. And that was our last appointment for the month, too. There is one more we could do. No, we're not doing that one. Well, we have to do something here. If I miss one more payment, they're going to take the ban. Then that's the end of the Midnight Maids. And I don't think either of us wants to start looking for a new career at this point. Ruth, you're killing me, I swear. Oh, come on now, you're killing me too, Ruth. Killing me with these laughs. We don't even have to clean the place. Just a few boxes and drop them off afterwards. We'll be in and out before you know it. Let's go. That's the Naomi I know! We'll be there in no time! How are they driving, though? I'm pretty sure that Ruth has, you know, some of these... <laughs> Someone, yeah, I'm right. Someone else, yo, Ruth is a roach. She a roach. <laughs> Ew, she's a nasty ass cockroach. Somebody get the bug spray. I'm already getting bad vibes from this place, man. I'm not too thrilled about it either. I mean, imagine you're a midnight maid service, but you're a roach. It's like, what? Wait, Naomi's a what is that? But the sooner we get started, the sooner we can get out of here. I know, I know. It's just... Oh, she's some kind of hybrid, bro. She's a hybrid car or something. Wow, I did not expect that. All right, what's first on the agenda? I'll check. I mean, come on, everybody. I didn't even know she had those freaking hands like that. The estate has been sold, and the previous owner's possessions are being auctioned off tomorrow. <laughs> We hired some movers, but they unexpectedly left a few hours into the work and haven't replied back yet. I can't believe Ruth is a roach. I can't. The previous owner is currently unavailable, so I need you to finish up the job. All you need to do is pack up whatever items are still left and drop it off at my place. You have more empty boxes than you'll need to use. You may put any unneeded ones back on the bench. Sounds easy enough. You send them a message and let them know we're here. I'll start packing up in here first. Alright, so now I'm playing as Ruth the Roach. So, let's pick these up, and let's put them in the van, baby. This box isn't full! My bad, it's my first time being a Midnight Maid, alright? So, how do I fill this up? Hey, Naomi? Yeah? Why is there a pile of doors here? I think I read something about the new owner being allergic to bronze. Like, that's why they had all the doors taken off or something. A bronze allergy? How strange! That is strange. Never heard of that in my damn life. Uh, I think I fill it up with mail. Ah, I do. Okay, so we're just gonna collect all the mail, everybody. Just like so. Boom, bop, pow. Shooby, dabby, doop. Booby, dabby, dop. And don't stop till you drop. There we go. And I think I just collect all these things. That's what I do. Okay. So far, so easy. Got it. I think I packed everything, right? Or nah. 
I think that's a good job. So let's put that in there. This box isn't full! When is it ever going to be full? Okay. Um, oh. Oh, whoa, 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 relax, relax. By the way, they sent some instructions for this room. Pack up the books, pack up the old letters, pack up all the papers. There are more instructions for the other rooms here. Just talk to me if you want to hear them, okay? Where are the other rooms at? Can you please let me know? Oh, there it is. That's what I needed to do. What? There we go. That's this room taken care of now. I'd better go ahead and take this box on out to the van. Be right back. Sure thing. Why is that box hauntedly spinning right round, right round? That doesn't make any sense. I'm freaked out, everybody. This box is on full! So much sass, Ruth! Why does Ruth have some... Whoa, who the hell is that? Who's this bitch? Naomi, who's that? Oh, hey, Ruth. You didn't tell me that the old homeowner would be here. Scared me almost half to death when he showed up. Terribly sorry about the fright, madam. Though, I do have a question I feel I must ask. Your attire suggests you're here for work. Please tell me if something happened. My friend and I were contracted to move things out before the new owner shows up. New owner? So we finally lost the estate then. I should have known. But never mind that. I must suggest you two return in the morning. Things tend to get very, very strange in this house at the late hour. Tomorrow? I can't do daylight yet because roaches always hide under things in the light. And I'm nocturnal! So we only work at night. Besides, if we don't finish the job tonight, we don't get paid. I see, I see. Well, we can't have that. In that case, you need to keep a close eye out for my father during your work. The man had his fair share of demons in life, and in his current state he's only gotten worse. But don't worry. The lights in this mansion tend to react to the energy he gives off. Should they begin to glow blue, then you know he's on his way. I'm sure you'd like to know what you should do at that point, right? Well... A family such as ours has had its share of enemies. And because of this, every room in this mansion has a secret of clove that can be used to hide inside. My father has long since lost the presence of mind to check these hiding spots, so you should be safe therein. I wish I could tell you that he's not as bad as he seems, but he is. So it's best that you just avoid him outright. I'll leave you both to get back to your work. Just pretend I'm not even here. I'd like for the record to show that I'm not okay with any of this. Naomi, hush. We'll be fine. Thank you for your help, sir. We appreciate... It? He's left already. He sure is a strange one. And the understatement of the year award goes to... Alright, so what do I do? What do I do in every room? Hey, leave me alone. Why are you around me like that? Get away, you freak. Okay, so now we have access to all the other rooms here. And if this shit glows blue, then you know my man's is on the way. Right? Oh, there you are. What's up, handsome? One would not be able to tell it now, but our dining room used to be quite the grandiose sight. All manner of patricians have graced this room. Though I do sometimes wonder if they still would have visited had they known what truly went on here. What does that mean? Why are you randomly popping in and out just telling me random things, dude? Leave it alone. Okay. So we just need to do a little bit of that and a little bit of this. So we are the Midnight Maids because this cockroach can't be out in the daylight because she'll be squashed like a bug. And the other girl is on her cell phone and she looked like she don't even give a damn, bro. I guess she's my complimentary horror game flashlight. So it is what it is. But let me do my thing, everybody. Let's take all this. Let's steal all that. I mean, pack all that. Totally not going to sell this on the black market. So let's keep it going. And I guess every room has a little secret. So we could just hide like that. Sweet. All right. Okay, I don't want to do that yet. Because we just have to make sure that the stuff isn't glowing blue, right? So basically, this is a game where we just got to pay attention to our surroundings. And then it's pretty much a wrap. It's pretty much a bada bing, bada boom. This is easy so far. I mean, all I have to do is click things, right? And, like, how many guests are there? There's no way I have this many friends eating this many things. And if even if I could, I don't think I could afford it. Because that's a lot of mouths to feed. Like, come on now. Oh, oh, oh! Hold on, somebody's coming, somebody's coming, somebody's coming. He's on his way, on his way. So, if that happens, what do I do? Okay, it plays a cutscene. Awesome! What? Yeah, you don't see anybody. Get out of here. Leave me alone, you loser. 
And that's it. Just like the other games, everybody. Just gotta avoid the trouble. What is that? What is that big green ass I see over there? Is that him? Does the dude have a dumpy? He might. He might have a dumpy. I'm part of Team Dumpy, everybody. Like, I got big old butt cheeks. I'm not even gonna lie to you all. But hopefully, we can just pack this up before it turns blue again. Because this is packing it up simulator. All right. Did I get everything? What about the chairs? Not the chairs? Okay. Whew. What if I saw somebody, everybody? How creepy would that be? Whoa! The box is still freaking spinning? All right. That box is going to be haunted no matter what. Let's put that in there. And let's just keep it moving. Oh! What's up, dude? You both seem to be quite adept at this. That other group of movers had already turned tail and ran by now. Cleaning houses is usually our specialty, but sometimes we have to take other jobs as well. And then I get dragged into some insane situation just because we need the money. Wait, what? Like last month, we almost got buried alive in the church's basement. How does one end up in a predicament like that? Good question. Maybe it's because someone accepted without reading the entire job description. It said groundbreaking work, didn't it? How was I supposed to know? Do you see what I have to go through? My, my. You two sure are something else. Tell me about it. I wish we had more help like you during my time. And where are my manners? I never introduced myself. My name is Joseph. Joseph Vermander. Okay, so he's part of the universe of the other games. But we all know just by looking at him that he's so goddamn evil! I'm Naomi. She's Ruth. It's an honor to meet you both. I don't mean to delay you, really. It's just nice to finally have someone to talk to after all this time. I'll let you return to your work. Thank you. Appreciate you. Love you. All right. So I think I need one more box. Or maybe two. So let's uh, do a left hand, right hand combo. And my complimentary flashlight needs to be right behind me. Because it's pretty much going to get dark as shit down here, right? Is he going to pop up every time I go into a new room? No, no. Okay. So let's pack that. And that, that, that. This is easy, everybody. Like, this really ain't shit. Ooh, look at these paintings, though. Ooh, this is no me gusta. Ooh, that one's... Oh, 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 whoa, 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 relax! Okay. Let's hide behind here. And don't you dare make a sound. Everybody, shut up. I know you're talking. And if you're eating, eat quieter. Pretend you're in a movie theater. And you're self-conscious about how loud you're chewing. Because you know how some people, they don't give a damn. Like, in a movie theater, they'll be chewing loud as shit, not giving a care in the world. Those people are annoying as hell. And I know somebody's gonna be like, Oh yeah, Jay, I bet you eat all the things in the world. I bet you throw hot dogs and shit. No, I don't actually eat. I actually think the smell of hot dogs is disgusting. But let's, uh, let's go this way, I guess. Right? Is this the bathroom? What kind of freaking mansion is this? Yo, this is nuts, dude. Steal these towels. Oh my goodness, Ruth. You need to relax. A box within a box? Are you freaking serious? <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Look how many boxes I'm holding. What's in here? Ooh. Wait, what? Oh! Bro, you need to stop popping up like that. A vast selection of tomes and books used to be housed in this room. We collected it all over generations. So much knowledge. Yet somehow, despite it all, we still weren't clever enough to save ourselves. Thank you for telling me that with your hot ass breath. I think I need to drop this dude a breath mint on his pillow because goodness gracious. Oh dear! I don't think I can carry anymore. I should take these boxes out to the van. Oh, thanks, Ruth. Thanks for telling me that now that I have to pick up other things. All right, let's put that in there. And let's pick up some more of these bad boys. And let's get to it, Naomi. Naomi and Ruth, the ultimate combo. What? This bitch again, bro? It's getting rather late, which means I should probably tell you about Cornelius. That corny mother sucker? I don't care about Cornelius. Who? A long time ago, he used to be one of my father's servants. A true paragon of a butler, I haven't had one bad word to say of the man. But one cold January morning, a terrible blizzard arrived, and you and I both know how rare snow is here. The entire town was shut down. Our family had absolutely everything one might need in an emergency. Food, water, and enough firewood to last for days. However, father wasn't happy. For the man was accustomed to reading his newspaper every morning. Given the conditions outside, the paper obviously could not be delivered that day. But instead of occupying his time doing something else as a sane person would, he sent poor old Cornelius out there to retrieve the morning paper from town. 
father didn't even have the decency to give the man a winter coat to use. He just sent him out wholly unprepared. Suffice to say, Cornelius didn't return. The man met his untimely demise out there in all the ice and snow. And now, something appears outside every night, just past the gate. Something that used to be Cornelius. I do not know what happened to him out there in that blizzard, nor do I know what he wants. But when you venture outside, be sure not to stay out there for too long. Otherwise, you may very well end up face to face with him. That's actually kind of creepy. Thank you for telling me that, scaring the shit out of me. Okay, so Cornelius is out here wandering around. Pretty sure he's going to jump me one time for the one time. And it's probably going to be a scream that I haven't screamed this whole episode. And I'm not looking forward to that. The anticipation of that is already killing me. But this is where I think I was, right? Yep. Okay. Books on books. Books for your books. And we just got to pay attention to the blue flames, everybody. Because there's one right there in the corner. Right over there. Just chilling. And let's get this going. Let's get a little bit of that. Boom, bop, pow. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Here we go. Woo! Good thing I pay attention. I'm trying to one take J this. Come on, man. Show me. This is for Cornelius. This is for what you did to Cornelius. I think that if he gets me, you have to start all over. And that'll be the saddest day. That'll make me cry. <laughs> that'll make me cry like this. <laughs> is what I would do if I was a little bitch. Good thing I'm not. All right. Where's that noise? The heck? Why does it sound like that? What the hell's happening? You guys hear that? It's like weird and bassy. I don't like this. Oh dear, I don't think I can carry any more. I should take these boxes out to the van. Great. What is that noise? Uh oh. What is that weird ass noise? Do y'all hear that? My hands are sweaty. It's like a weird bassy noise. It's gone now. But I heard it earlier. Cornelius better not be out there. Hey, you cornball. You out here? You out here, you corn ass? Where are you? Oh, he's right there. Yo, is that Cornelius? Oh my god. Bro, you are so whack. Ah, oh, bro, you are so corny, dude. All right. I'm out of here. Can you come in? Corny? Cornelius? Oh. Okay. That was random. <laughs> Bro, Cornelius not really about that. Alright, anyway. That guy is not as scary as I thought. I mean, I mean, if he was around the corner, he would startle the shit out of me. But, like, Cornelius as, like, a regular person? Nah. Nah, I'm not even worried about a thing. I am not worried about a thing. He would scare me, though, if he was around the corner. Not gonna lie. <laughs> That's a nervous laugh. That's a nervous ass laugh. Okay. Let's get that. Oh, blue flame, blue flame. Let's go. Yeah, I thought Cornelius would be a little scarier. Joseph Vermander made him seem scarier than he actually was. But yeah, do you see anything? No? Yeah, because you're bitch made. I guess I need to go to different rooms and fill this out because these are full. Like, I'm pretty sure. I swear on my mama that these are full. Yeah, and he's just popping up out of nowhere. He's definitely a ghost. Many a thankless meal has been prepared in this room. While I, of course, did my best to respect the help, Father wasn't always as accommodating. God forbid you incorrectly cooked a meal on one of his bad days. The ashes contained in that oven aren't just from the wood, you know. What does that mean, dude? So yeah, this is pretty much the gist of the game. I wonder if it's going to get more complicated because I kind of like it when these games turn into a little fucky-wucky and there's a bunch of random things happening. But these boxes aren't full. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can I switch characters? I can't. But I can talk to Naomi. Uh-huh. Check time. Check room status. That's it for this room. We got everything. Oh, okay, cool. What else? Let's check the time. It's 3.13 a.m. The new homeowner is supposed to get here at 6, so we need to finish up before then. If we still want to get paid, that is. All right. You got it. You got it. You got it. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, the blue. Oh, crap. I didn't even notice. I was too busy talking to Naomi. Damn. Good thing, though, right? Good thing I keep my head on a swivel. Bro, you again? I have one final thing to tell you both. I'd rather keep this particular story to myself. 
But for your own safety, I must tell you of Agatha. Agatha used to be part of the help, like Cornelius. She too was an exemplary servant. Throughout her time here, both she and I grew close. Very close. And despite knowing full well the impact it would have on my family's social status, I asked her to marry me. She and I then planned to elope and run away together. I didn't care that I was giving up my inheritance by doing so. I only wanted us to be together. But the night before we were to make our escape from this awful place, Father found out. Again and again I asked him, Where is she? And what have you done? He eventually answered me, though sometimes I wish that he didn't. He told me that she was under the floorboards where she belonged. Then he went on about his day, reading his newspaper and having his breakfast like nothing happened. Agatha didn't deserve to end up like this. She'll probably wake up soon. Should you see the candle suddenly go out, you'll know she's in the same room as you. You know, I still try to talk to her, but she never responds. I don't think she recognizes me anymore. She just runs away if I even look at her. So what do I do if I see her? Excuse me? Excuse me, Joseph, sir? What do I do if I see her? Are you kidding me? That's a joke, right? Like, ha ha, ha ha, he he? You've gotta be kidding me. Agatha sounds like a spooky ass name. Like some haunted shit, bro. Fuck this. Oh God. Oh my! What the? That's Agatha? That's what you into? Go, move, move, move people! Oh crap. That was kind of creepy. That made the nippies hard, bro. I'm not even trying to say anything. Let me just sip on this because I can't. I can't right now. I have goosebumps on my legs. I had goosebumps on my legs. This is not right. What? Wait. What in the world? <gasps> Holy crap. I thought Agatha was holding that shit together, bro. Ooh. Yo. I don't like that. I do not like that. I am just going to focus on myself, queen. I'm just going to focus on my roach self. What time is it, by the way? Please don't be 6 a.m. I need to get paid, bro. Like, I need that cash because I cannot be doing this for the rest of my life. Hell no. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, the box isn't full. I get it. I dig it. I know. Let's keep going. Let me see. What time is it? Yeah? Let me check the time. 3.36. Okay. Got plenty of time. She's under the floorboards, though. That is freaky deaky, dude. I don't like that fact. So that means the person died in the walls. <gasps> what is this? Do I pack this up? I pack up the cult shit! I pack up the cult stuff, bro. <laughs> what? Oh, dear. I don't think I can carry anymore. I should take this box to the van. I'm leaving. I do not want to see Agatha. I didn't know that was what Joseph was into. Hey, man. I don't judge. I'm not here to judge, okay? Like, do you. Do you, for real. Oh, crap. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, shoot. <gasps> oh, shit. Right in the corner, bro. <laughs> Holy crap, this game, dude. I like this. I like this. Okay, it's spooky. It gets me. But, hey, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I can't believe Naomi isn't doing anything. I know that you have, like, those kind of hands, but you're about to catch these hands if you don't help me in a minute. Check room status. That's it for this room. We got everything. Awesome. Okay. So we got everything here. That's perfect. What about in this room? Oh, my! Wow. I don't like that sudden jump scare type stuff. Sometimes the biggest jump scares are the ones that don't even make any noise at all. It's kind of like you see it subtly. Like, it's like um that one jump scare in The Conjuring when that person was behind the guy. That was one of the freakiest jump scares I've ever seen in my sad, pathetic life, okay? What? What's up, dude? This mansion has been in our family for generations, you know. After my father finally met his end, everything went to me. During my time, I tried my best to correct the past sins of my family. The help were treated fairly for once. I lowered the prices on all of our properties. I even tried returning all those liberated artifacts we used to keep down in the basements. I was well on my way to pulling our family name out the mud, you know. But then somehow, Father became so enraged by my actions that he brought himself back from the dead to stop me. To be honest with you, I wasn't even that surprised. 
He broke just about every law he could while he was alive. Breaking universal laws was the next logical step. And I do not care about any of that. Just pay me, please. But we can't even get anything else. All right. So I don't think I can pack anything else. Yep. But I need to come back here. That's the only thing that kind of sucks about this game. Like, there's so many boxes. But damn, bro, I can't fit anything else inside this bitch. Or can I? Nope. I can't. Okay. Let's leave. All right. Oh my god. She's right there in the mirror. Holy crap. Move! <gasps> the fuck out of here. Okay, let's check the status of this room. That's it for this room. We got everything. All right, cool. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Naomi. I appreciate you so much. I'm just kidding. I'm just saying things. Let's get that. What about this room? Is this room good? That's it for this room too? All right, cool. So we got everything in all these rooms in the corner. That's what I like to see. This is the next one, right? Get that. And I can't even get anything there. This is lame, dude. Sometimes the... Oh, fuck. Move, 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 move. Let's hide. What if I open that one time and Agatha is right there? I think I might have a heart attack. My heart would literally stop if that happened. Hold on. I think I need to see Agatha. Where are you? Oh, right there. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Hiding behind the couch. I think I need to spot Agatha before I die or something. I don't know. But I just want to make sure that, you know, there's no stone unturned. What does that mean? I still have something in that room? Hold on. There's still something in the other room. I think. If that's true, then that means something's in the corner room where, like, all the library books are. So let's try to go there real quick. Let's figure some things out. What do I have in here? Anything good? Oh, that was it. That was weird. Leaving already? Yep, we're all done here. Thankfully, no offense, but your house creeps me out. <laughs> I suppose you're right about that. This place does give off quite the oppressive atmosphere. Still, I'm gonna miss it. This is the only home I've ever known, you know. But it's high time for me to move on. There's no point in haunting this place a moment longer, for our time here is over. I have to thank you both for helping me realize that. Without you here, I suppose I never would have talked myself through my own issues. You're very welcome, dear. Honestly, this is nothing new for us. We usually just tack on another 50 bucks to the bill when we help someone's spirit move on. I'd expect nothing else from the Midnight Maids, I suppose. It's been fun. Goodbye, my friends. Where do you think you're going? Who said that? Oh, crap. Who the hell are you? What? You're not going anywhere, boy. You know what, father? No, I'm, I'm done, done with you. you. My, my whole life has revolved around you. I spent the entirety of my youth trying my best to please you, yet you only thought of yourself. And I spent the rest of my short time here trying in vain to atone for your evil deeds. I refuse to let you ruin my afterlife as well. That's it. What are you going to do? Oh, Agatha. It sure took you long enough to come around, Joey. Agatha, you you still remember me? Why haven't you said anything until now? I was waiting for you to finally stand up to that big old... I know why you were interested in Agatha, Jeremiah. I see you, dude. We don't even need to figure out what that tongue does. I thought giving you the silent treatment for a while might help you figure it out, but no. Well, better late than never, I suppose. Exactly. Now, come on. Let's finally leave this place behind. Yes, we must depart at once. You wouldn't dare. Want a bed, old man? Ooh, called your ass old. <laughs> that dude got the old. Whoa. All right, my bad, Dragon Ball. Yeah, where do you think you're going, you said? <laughs> this is your fault. If you didn't listen to him ramble on, he'd still be here with me. You're going to pay for that. What? What do you mean? Uh-oh. Jeremiah wants an explanation. Ah, oh, there you are, sir. Here's that newspaper you wanted. Committed. My man Cornelius is committed to his job. I asked for this paper years ago, you useless idiot. Not even a thank you, huh? Well, that's quite all right, sir. I brought you something else as well. Would you like to know the weather forecast? What? The weather forecast, sir? 
There's a heat wave coming. I thought you should know. Wait. No, I thought he was going to pull out the heat. You know, I thought he was going to pull out a heater. What is this? No, I will not go yet. My legacy, I must preserve it. Ah! Yeah, the power of Christ compels you, bitch. What's up, Jeremiah? Right, so. Now that's finally sorted, I'd better take my leave as well. Stay safe out there. Later, dude. All right. Yeah, everybody has that power? Where can I get some of that? Never a dull moment, huh? Not by a long shot, my dear. Not by a long shot. Wow. All right, everybody. That was Midnight Maids. I need to clap it up one time. I love this developer's work. Very, very unique character models. I'm just in love with, like, the fact that they just took a chance to be this unique and bold. And it's cool. It works. It really works because it's entertaining. It's funny. It is scary without just having the need to, like, pump up the audio and make you feel things just based off the audio. I thought it was really cool. How come I only got one star, though? But, yeah, everybody, that was Midnight Maid Night. I love these types of games because they're fun to play, and it's just a blast because I always get a laugh out of them. Zed Technician is definitely a developer that I'm keeping my eye on for all their future work. Hopefully you all enjoyed it though. If you did, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!